All right, welcome everyone. My name is Akershi. I'm the president and founder here of The Mortgage Calculator. We are a non-delegated correspondent lender that does things quite a bit differently. So I'd like to take the opportunity today to talk a little bit about what makes us different. I have my uh, co-host here, Kyle. He's our partner. Um, and Jose, our partner as well, with 26 years of experience in the industry. Um, myself and Kyle come from more of a technology and lead generation background. Uh, so that's what we'll talk about a lot today. Let me go ahead and share my screen and we'll actually go through the page that most of you probably joined from uh, where we can talk a little bit about what makes us different and uh, special here. So as I mentioned, we're a non-delegated correspondent, but really what that means is we're the best of everything. So uh, we've been, uh, we built this model as an FDIC bank uh, under a broker model, under a non-delegated model and a delegated model. And we found that the best way that it works is with the most options. So uh, as a non-delegated correspondent, we have dozens of broker options as well as correspondent options, a little bit different hat that we wear um, on both sides of the fence there, but we'd love to be able to have a home for everything we do because we do a lot of lead generation and we have deals that might be outside the box. So we want to make sure we have a home for every single one of those deals. One of the cool things about doing deals as a correspondent when we're the lender is there is no max commission cap. So coming from the broker world, that was one of the things we we're running into. We do a lot of non-QM loans with large loan amounts. Um, and it's very nice to be able to get paid your regular compensation, no matter how large the loan is, where sometimes we're capped in the broker world. So a lot of great opportunities we have when we're doing the types of loans that we do in the correspondent world. As I mentioned before, myself and Kyle come from a lead generation background. We've done this for over 15 years and spent many millions of dollars on all the lead generation platforms for all our companies and other companies as well. So we're very passionate about giving you guys leads. And we simply do that via all kinds of different cool ways, which Kyle will be able to actually show you here in a minute. And really what it comes down to is if you take any of our company leads, it's a simple 50-50 split. So we love to be able to fill you guys uh, with whatever leads you want to grab and be able to split those with you guys. We are also very passionate coming from more of a tech background about no monthly fees. So we never have any monthly fees or hidden fees or want to be able to even have to charge you guys to do your job in any way, shape or form. Very passionate about that. So there's no tech fees or desk fees. And that's because we've written every line of code for what you're looking at right now. But more importantly, what you're going to see here in a minute when Kyle actually shows you a demo of the back end. Um, and you'll be able to see that we built all the technology from the ground up. So we don't have any other third parties that we really have to pay fees to. So therefore, we don't have to pass any fees on to you guys. Not that we would want to believe in that type of setup anyway. Along with what we built is, of course, the CRM and a dialer here. So you see that as one of the bullet points. Um, you know, pretty standard CRM does all the great things that every CRM you're used to does. And uh, also great opportunity to hit a lot of leads when we plug in those leads into the dialer system. Uh, so Kyle will actually show you guys how that looks here in a minute, and that'll give you a better idea. Along with every uh, CRM comes with the website, right? So we need the front end and the back end. So what you're looking at now is the front end. Everybody gets their own custom website instantly when they join with the 1003 application uh, built in as well. So customers can not only uh, sign up as a lead, but they can also completely uh, fill out the 1003, start uploading documents, all that kind of good stuff within our system. We don't have any other systems to integrate. It's all in-house. Another thing we're very passionate about is giving you guys your own leads, right? So if you guys are already generating leads, great. You can use our system to just, uh, you know, pour fuel on the fire there. Uh, so Kyle will show you guys how to route your leads. If you already have them set up, we'll route them into our CRM, put them on the action plans, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, or if you need to get set up with your own leads, we'll show you guys how you can purchase your own leads using kind of our same systems and go ahead and get set up with that on the back end and go ahead and fill your pipeline every day with leads. Another thing I'm very passionate about personally from my personal clients, I'm a loan officer, I do loans every day, right? So we built this from the ground up for us. Uh, but my clients specifically, uh, what we built a lot of this for is the investor clients. So we're able to prospect DSCR, business purpose loans in over 30 states. So uh, a lot of you guys are probably just getting uh, into the non-QM space, uh, wasn't as popular as it is now, as rates are increasing. Um, but now it's a, it's a thing you got to have in your tool belt, right? So We've been very passionate about this for three years. Uh, so we've been very focused on the DSCR and all the business purpose non-QM products for about three years and generating leads at scale for that. Um, and we really love to service those people that are outside the box. And the beautiful thing about the business purpose loans is we don't have to actually do it necessarily in the states we're licensing uh, because they're business purpose loans. So if our investor has 10 or 20 properties, 
in different states. We're still able to service that investor for their primary home, hopefully in the states that we license, but also do all our investments in any states those investments may be in because they're business purpose investments. Another thing that we found lacking in all the different business models that we've joined uh, is the support. So now that we're the owner of our own company, uh, we are very passionate about giving you guys support. Not only do we do team calls and set up trainings and have a training center and a knowledge center um, and thousands of videos and articles, but we love getting one-on-one -on -one with you guys as well. So uh, you guys can get one-on-one -on -one with myself or Jose and get unstuck where you're stuck or get help with some structure. Uh, Jose even sometimes takes calls with your clients for you as well, uh, just to make sure you get that extra push you need to get those deals through the door. Uh, so a lot of great support that we have. And Kyle will show you a little bit about how that works on the back end as well. Now, before I pass this off, let me talk a little bit about the comp plans. So again, a lot of you might have uh, seen some information about our team under the different models that we've had over the years. Uh, now that we are our own company, uh, we have what we find to be the best model. So we have three basic comp plans here, uh, quite a bit different in between them. So I hope you guys can understand the differences here. So let me try to explain it. So the goal here for everybody, obviously, to be a senior loan officer, right? Uh, so we want everybody to be making the max commission. We want to make sure you get used to the systems. Once you're up and running, should be pretty easy. Uh, we'll go ahead and do up to 200 basis points there on the stuff you guys are used to. Conventional non-QM, all the stuff you're used to, uh, 200 basis points is 2%. There are some different comp, like some crazy high comps you can get on reverse mortgages, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but the stuff you guys are used to here, 200 basis points is great commission there. You get all access to everything. You get company leads at the 50-50 split. And what's very important here is you're also going to receive leads from our other team members who are not senior loan officers. So that's kind of a key piece of this is we want to be able to work uh, the people who may not be ready to do it into uh, the people who are already rocking and rolling and know how to do loans. Now, everybody who joins our team needs to start as a loan officer. Again, we're very different. We do things differently. It's very hard to be a broker and a lender at the same time. You got to wear two different hats different systems that we have uh, with over almost 100 lenders now um, and correspondent investors that we have and different outlets and programs. Uh, so it's very uh, unique uh, setup that we have. So we want to make sure everybody starts as a loan officer. Uh, so for that, we do a 150 basis points commission for the stuff you're used to, the conventional non-QM, that's one and a half percent. And really what that means is for those first six loans, it's going to take you to really know what you're doing. Uh, we're going to have everybody join on this plan. So even if you've done a thousand loans before, you might have not done, uh, you know, closed loans as a lender or vice versa. You might have been a lender and never closed loans as a broker. It's kind of different hats and different systems we have to wear. Um, so we want to make sure you guys know that. So we're going to start everybody on a loan officer plan. Still great compensation, 150 basis points, and make sure that you guys are up and running and learn our new systems and our way of doing things so that you can go ahead and graduate to the senior loan officer. Now, you're still going to have access to the leads. So you still have access to all the leads. Go ahead and, you know, close six, six deals with our leads. Great. Uh, you'll go ahead and have access to everything. Now, if you're not quite ready to be a full loan officer, a lot of people are just getting into the business or maybe just getting back into the business after the pandemic. A lot of people kind of changed careers, right? Um, if you're just getting back into it or you're not quite ready, we have our loan officer assistant plan. This is a little bit of a misnomer. Doesn't mean you're an assistant. Doesn't mean you're, you know, a salary, the, you know, just paper pusher type of assistant. This means you're a licensed loan officer, but you're not ready to do it full time, maybe. Uh, but you're going to assist on deals still as a licensed loan officer. And you can still make commission as a licensed loan officer. Um, so we have that set up where you can make 75 basis points by referring deals to the senior loan officers. Um, so those of you who maybe not quite ready to know what you're doing or maybe don't quite know the non-QM programs or the DSCR programs. Uh, we still would love to have you on the team and have you work with a senior loan officer. So we'll go ahead and refer that deal to the senior loan officer. They'll go ahead and close that. They know exactly what buttons to press, exactly when, what conditions to clear, and all that kind of good stuff. And you'll still make great compensation. Some of you guys coming from the call center environment, that's probably more than you're used to making there. 75 basis points is 0.75 commission on a file. And really what you'll do is you'll help that loan officer with that file. It's probably your family member or your friend. Uh, or maybe you hit some cold call lists in the in the CRM, like Kyle will show you here, and uh, just struck up a deal. Uh, but either way, that's your deal. That's your client. Uh, but you're going to work with the loan officer who's actually going to sign that 1003 and really knows how to push it through to the finish line for you. So everybody makes money at the end of the day. So a little bit different than you guys might have seen before. Three different comp plans. Everybody starts as a loan officer. Everybody should end up as a senior loan officer. We want to get you guys upgraded as quick as possible. You're not quite ready to go full time maybe not quite ready to sign loan applications and take that responsibility, 
you can join as an assistant and kind of get used to it, help on some deals, work with some senior loan officers. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and take on the regular loan officer plan. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Um, of course, we'll have questions at the end. If you have questions, go ahead and drop them. Uh, usually we talk a little bit about the software, but we have Kyle here to actually do a demo. So Kyle, you can go ahead and take over if you're ready. Perfect, thank you. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and share my screen here then. Uh, let's see here, okay. So when you come on board, of course, we'll do full trainings on this and all that kind of good stuff. I'm just gonna highlight a few features here of how our system works. So first and foremost, we have a CRM, right? Basic CRM, of course, you can take your notes and send your emails and they stack up here in order. Uh, you can set reminders, you can put them on automated action plans, automated drip campaigns, all that kind of good stuff, right? That's all here, of course. The other thing that we have, which really sets us apart is our quoting system. So what you'll see here is you can take just six pieces of info from a client. You can pull the rates automatically from Optimal Blue here through our API. And in less than two minutes, you can kick your client out a nice quote that looks like this with some rate options. What do these things mean? Pulls in the Google map automatically, pulls in the Zestimate automatically, pulls in the proposed loan info, the monthly breakdown taxes, insurance, the fees, and most importantly here as the loan officer. It's on your website, which you'll see in the top right-hand corner. You're here. And also you can attach a realtor to your quotes. Your realtors absolutely love this. They know when they send you a client, not only can you quote them instantly with this nice pretty quote that they get sent via email and text, and it looks even better on mobile, you put them in front of their client's face. They know that you're telling your client, hey, we are your team and we are going to push this deal across the finish line. Nobody else is doing that for that realtor. I promise you, no one else is putting them nice and pretty right there on all their quotes, all their communication with the client, keeping that realtor in front of their client's face. Right. So absolutely great thing here uh, in these beautiful quotes. People love them. But what's the coolest part is that you can click start my loan application right here. So your client can see the quote and they can say, yes, I want to move forward with my application. And what happens here is let's look at it from their end. They're taken to their borrower portal where they start their 1003 right here built into our system where we control the 1003. They upload the documents for that type of loan that we need, the basic documents, right? All that kind of good stuff. They can see the loan info. They can see the milestone of where the loan is at as the loan goes through the system. And they can see you as their loan team, right? So nice borrower portal here where they can actually, uh, you know, control everything, upload everything and all that kind of good stuff. Now, let me come back here so you can see what happens after they agree to the quote to move forward on your end, you have your docs tab where you can see, you can see the 1003, help them fill it out. You can help them upload documents, but most importantly, you can request documents. You can request any standard documents, whether it's you or your processor, super easy here. You can say, oh yeah, I do need 12 months of bank statements, save changes. Now it's asking them for 12 months of bank statements, letting them know, hey, we need 12 months of bank statements. Click here to log into your borrower portal to upload them. You could change the whole packet and say, you know what? It's actually going to be a DSCR loan, not a conventional. So let me change all the documents we're asking for to be for DSCR. You could also request signatures. So you could say, I need this signature. It loads it into their portal where they can click here and sign it through our eSign API. They don't even have to leave the page. So everything is integrated. And of course you can uh, request custom documents and you know all that kind of good stuff. So whether it's you or your processor, you're controlling the whole process here through our system to make sure you get the 1003, make sure you get the documents and all that kind of stuff. And you can send a reminder through the system and all that, right? So. What happens after they upload all their documents and we start originating the loan? Now we keep track of the loan in our pipeline where you'll see who the client is, you'll see what lender or investor it may be at. So you can keep track of all your loans, most importantly, the milestones. So as you go through the milestones of the deal, you're gonna keep not only you and your processor and everybody updated on it, but when you select a new milestone, it's going to ask you if you want to send the status change to the client. That'll send the status change to the client and the realtor, letting them know the stage that the loan is at. Now, let me tell you, 
The number one complaint about loan officers by both clients and realtors is lack of communication. So we're gonna use our system to make sure that we're automatically updating everyone in the transaction at all times as we move this loan through the system. So you see that our system is set up here to take them from being a lead and communicating with them to being a quote, to collecting all the documents and then keeping track of the loan in your pipeline all the way through the process, all in one login, all in one technology here. Uh, so it's very seamless from start to finish, right? That's how it's set up. Now, let's talk about how the leads actually come in. As Nick said, we're very passionate about leads. This is what we do. So let's talk about where the leads come from and how the leads work. So <clears throat> let's say Jane Doe clicked on one of our Facebook ads. A lot of our leads are going to be from Facebook. That's kind of what we're experts at. I'll talk about that in a second. And so Let's say Jane Doe clicks that ad, they opt in to be contacted for more info. It's gonna send you a text that second immediately. So you can open that text and call them within one minute. You should be calling them within like 10 seconds, right? So it's all immediate, immediately texted to you. So you can call Jane and say, hey, I know you requested info about the DSCR loans we have. How can I help, right? There'll be a call script on the right-hand side here. If it's an investment, call, it'll be an investment script. If it's a conventional purchase, it'll be a conventional purchase script. So it's all here for you, super easy to do. You're going to get the info you need for a quote and send them out a quote. So that's the first and foremost way we send you leads from our campaigns, right? That are sent to you instantly via text. Those are the hot leads that are coming in all day. You're going to be getting text messages with leads. So you can click them to claim them and give them a call instantly. The other way that we provide leads for you is through our auto dialer. So of course we have an auto dialer here. You just pick up the phone once and then you dial. You can call 400 people in a day, 300, 400 people in a day, dropping automatic text messages and emails to them. As you go, just press a button, it drops the text and email, and then you press next call, you're on to the next person. All that happens automatically, right? And we have lead lists in here. We have purchase leads. We have cold call lists. We have realtor lists. You can call hundreds of realtors in a day to build those relationships. Uh, so we have tons of lists in here, investor lists, all this kind of stuff where you can come in and hit the calls and hit the auto dialer to drum up business. The other way that we provide leads here in our system is that you can purchase leads. So the same leads that we give you at no upfront cost, we can copy those same campaigns because they work and we can route them directly to you at no lead split, right? So when you want to fill up your pipeline with more leads than just the ones we give you, you can purchase leads and fill up your pipeline. So they go to you via text instantly and you can follow up with them. Now, keep in mind, there is no lead split on these. So for example, one of our loan officers recently closed her first deal as a loan officer. Jose helped her by meeting with her a bunch of times, turn it from a conventional loan to a PL loan. They got denied at another place. And then Jose was able to close the deal by turning it to a PL program. The loan was $1,060,000 for her first deal ever as a loan officer. We helped her push it across the finish line and close it. It was from a lead that we gave her, but it was a lead that she purchased, right? Which is the same exact campaigns we're giving you for free. And because she purchased it herself, her almost $16,000 commission, she received the full commission instead of being a lead split and giving up half of that because she didn't purchase the lead, right? 50-50 split on the leads we purchased. So she saved $8,000 by purchasing the lead herself. So not only should you take the leads we're giving you at no upfront cost, but you should be purchasing your own leads as well to fill up your pipeline. Now, the next way that we facilitate you having leads in our system is to import leads. So we give you your custom webhook here so you can use Zapier to zap in your leads from anywhere else you purchase them. So if you want to purchase leads from Zillow or Free Rate Update or wherever you want to purchase leads from, you can use your webhook to make them go into our system instantly, give you a text and an email that says you got the leads. You can call them, quote them, gather the documents keep track of the loan, everything in our system, just like if it was one of our instant leads that we gave you, but you can purchase them from anywhere, right? And so every way possible that we have to facilitate you getting and working leads, we have here built into the system. So now what I want to do is I want to let Nick talk about the type of leads we get 
and why? Because as he said, we're a little different, a little unique. So as Nick said, we are more of a, a have more of a marketing and lead generation background. So uh, Nick, obviously we own an ad agency. We do this for other companies as well and our own. Nick is certified by Facebook as a digital marketing associate and as a media planning professional. He's certified by Google as a Google ad search specialist. And we've just been doing this for a long time. So it's not that we're a mortgage company trying to learn how to do leads. We are actually from the lead space, right? And teamed up with Jose and others that do mortgages. And that's how we really started this company. And so that I can't stress that enough that we're not a mortgage company trying to get into leads. This is what we do. So I want to have Nick talk a little bit about what type of leads that he gets our team and why. So go ahead and uh, take it away there, Nick. Okay, sure. Uh, so yeah, anytime we're trying to plan something for a client or for ourselves or any of our companies, we want to make sure we do something different, right? So uh, we want to attack things in a different way. We don't want to just be another competitor out there increasing the price per ad, per click, per lead for everybody, right? So in this case, uh, we do not want to do what the big guys are doing, the big rockets and the people spending billions with a B on conventional loans, conventional refis. Um, and now, you know, obviously that business model failed. Uh, as of now, it was very successful for a long time, uh, but we've always seen the more sustainable business model and something that will set us apart is we want to do what's uh, something different from those guys, right? So uh, from the big shops offering conventional, we want to do the exact opposite. So what we focus on this entire time for the last three years is offering products and services to the clients that the big shops do not cater to, the self-employed borrowers, the investors, all the people that need the non-QM loans. So we're going to advertise the non-QM loan products, which we have been doing uh, for over three years now and really become an expert on how to match up these clients that aren't getting served with the products that we have that can serve them. Um, and basically, once we get them in there and are able to do something that you know the big guys aren't able to do and show them something that they may not know exists, uh, then we have you know great rates. Obviously, we're not... Uh, uh, jacking up our rates or anything. Uh, it's the same margins that we have on conventionals, the same thing we have on non-QM and everything. Uh, we want to make sure we have great programs and great rates. And uh, we're going to basically uh, close it by offering something that nobody else has. So it's very important uh, that you guys know that we're going to get people in the door by offering something that's very unique and different than everybody else is out there doing. And that's what makes us successful. However, Kyle always wants me to caution uh, you guys and, and make sure you know that everybody still does conventional loans right so when we get a non-qm borrower doesn't think they qualify uh, for rocket or maybe got denied at rocket maybe they have some weird stuff going on uh, once we advertise the bank statement programs um, that we think they might click on they're going to engage but we're still going to see if they qualify for conventional right so we're still going to do our job maybe someone made a mistake at one of the bigger shops right that is more of a call center type environment and aren't really digging through all of the tax returns and able to do the full analysis. Or maybe it's an investor with 100 properties and you know any of the big shops aren't willing to do a tax return analysis and do actual income calculations on 100 property schedule E, right? Uh, this is the things that, these are the things that we'll do and we're gonna get those customers in and uh, really get them for life. But the important thing is once we get all the information, we're still gonna see if they do a conventional loan. So whether it's that borrower who thought they were bank statement, maybe it's not, that could still be a conventional loan. Or maybe it's the investor who has 100 properties, they still want a conventional loan on their primary home and maybe a couple of their, uh, maybe they have a vacation home and maybe a couple of their rental properties they want to use conventional loans for, but we want to also be able to do DSCR loans uh, for all their other properties. So we want to make sure we have a bucket for everything. And once we get people in and make them comfortable and do the things that the big shops aren't doing and service those clients in a way that they're not used to. Uh, we're still going to get them and still do conventional loans. And a lot of your family and friends and stuff, you know, we still do conventional loans. Conventional loans for us are, are pretty standard, right? What makes us unique is the ability to be an expert in the other type of loans, right? Everybody can do a conventional loan. It's just click offs, right? If you have the skills to say you could do conventional, but you could also do these four different other options, that's really what makes us stand apart there uh, when we're talking to the clients. So um, is that good enough for you, Kyle? You want to? Pass it on? Yeah, absolutely. And just to touch base on the loan programs, I know some people will ask in the questions. We have everything you can imagine, right? As Nick said, we have almost 100 uh, lenders and investors total. We do everything from conventional VA, FHA uh, to, you know, DSCR, bank statement, PL, foreign national, uh, true commercial, 
uh, you know, everything under the sun. So as Nick said, we need a place to put every loan, right? And so we have all these ads going out. When these ads go out, we get these leads. We have to have a place to put every lead. So I promise you there's no program out there uh, that we don't have. And if there's a, a, a lender or a conduit that offers it, we'll sign up with them, right? So you're going to have every tool at your disposal. Uh, with that being said, we'll have Jose say a few words here, and then we'll go through the questions. I see some questions being dropped there. So please keep dra dropping questions in the Q&A. Uh, in the meantime, Jose, go ahead and talk a little bit, then we'll open up questions. Sure. How's everybody doing today? Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to our meeting. Um, I've been licensed as a full-time MLO and real estate agent uh, since September of 1995. Uh, seen many cycles. I've uh, been full-time nonstop since that date. Uh, and what I, what I do here is basically help, um, one of the many things is help with your structure meetings, help with the file disclosures. Nick was mentioning about our support and our technology, it's real important once you do get that lead that says, yeah, let's go, that you have an avenue to basically take you to the next step, uh, help you, like I mentioned, with the structure, with your file disclosure, and make sure that what we're putting out there is going to close, that it gets off on the right trajectory. So we do definitely give you the technology support. We also give you the real life support. And um, I've been disclosing files sometimes at 9, 10 o'clock at night, we're disclosing files in the weekends. If we have a deal, we're going to do everything possible to make it happen. Um, and to those out of you out there that have a lot of experience and those out, out there that have less experience, we do have the avenues for our uh, loan officer assistants who will be giving leads to our senior MLOs. So senior MLOs, you're not only going to be getting leads uh, from the programs you pay for and leads from the team leads, but those team leads will also be leads from our LOAs. So a lot of opportunities there, um, especially with the great uh, margins that we have that gets you paid those high commissions. But do know that for those of you, when you're faced with the situation, you're trying to get that deal, maybe it's a conventional deal, they're shopping it around, you do have the opportunity to uh, take the deal as a lead, even if it's your own self-gen deal, in which case you can uh, basically give the borrower a credit for the amount that you're foregoing the commission. And that's the same as having that 1% uh, uh, a margin on your rate sheet because you're giving a credit to the borrower. So that's a really good tool, make the full deal, but in those specific situations that you have to, you do have Options. So uh, there should be no reason to not be able to produce, like I was mentioning, our inexperienced MLOs doing million dollar loans within 30 to 60 days of being with the team. So I uh, definitely welcome all of you to come on board and help you structure and close those same deals. Perfect. Thank you, Jose. So let's talk about the next steps, then we'll get into the questions here. So uh, when you are ready, Nick, go ahead and drop this link in the chat for me. You're going to go to the link that Nick's dropping in the chat here. You're going to sign up for which plan is applicable to you, whether you want to be a loan officer assistant at first or a loan officer. Uh, once you click here to join, it will take you to a form to fill out, and then it will take you to sign the initial compensation agreement. Now, you don't have to sign it right then. It'll send you an email copy. Take your time. Look over everything. And what will happen is once you sign that agreement, we will reach out with the next onboarding steps, you know, to get all your full employment packages, documents, to sponsor your license in the NMLS and walk you through all that. We'll get you up and running. We'll start the training and we will get you going. So that link is in the chat. With that being said, why don't you go ahead and stop uh, recording, Nick? 